<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 3 Fiber to Fabric Clothes that we wear are made from fibers. Fibers are long thin hair like strands which may be obtained from natural or man made sources. The fibers which are obtained from natural sources, that is, plants and animals, are known as natural fibers, while those through chemical or artificial processes are known as synthetic fibers or artificial fibers. Wool. The bodies of certain animals like sheep, goat and yak are covered with a thick coat of hair. This coat of hair is called fleece, which protects animals from cold. Wool is obtained from the fleece of these animals. Factopedia. Wool catches fire at a high temperature than cotton and some synthetic fibers and even when it catches fire, the flame does not spread quickly. After burning, wool does not melt or drip. It forms a char which is insulating and self-extinguishing. Wool yielding animals Sheep More than 95% of the wool production worldwide comes from sheep. There are 40 different breeds of sheep in the world, producing approximately 200 types of wool. Angora Rabbit Angora rabbits are also a source of wool. The wool obtained from them is expensive. Yak Wool is also obtained from yak. In Ladakh and Tibet, the hair of the yak is used to make wool. Goat Wool is also obtained from goat. There are some breeds of wool yielding goats. Angora goat. It owes its origin in Turkey from the Angora region. The fleece obtained from Angora goat is of high quality and has very smooth peel. Pashmina goat. It is a special breed of goat found in Jammu and Kashmir. Pashmina goat sheds its winter coat every year, which is collected and hand spun to produce pashmina wool. Kashmir goat. These are found in higher plateaus of China, Mongolia and Tibet. The hairy skin of these goats have a combination of fine hair and coarse hair. Camel. The hair obtained from the undercoat of camel is extremely soft. Camel wool is prized for its natural beautiful color. The best camel wool is produced from the two humped Bactrian camel found in mountains of Siberia and Mongolia. Factopedia The wool produced by the Vicuna, a South American member of the camel family, is the finest, warmest, and the most expensive wool in the world. Alpacas belonging to camel family produce wool in more than 22 different colors. Sheep rearing and breeding. Some breeds of sheep have softer and better quality under hair than others, and these are specially breeded for making wool. The method of breeding animals for their special quality is called selective breeding. In India, the sheep are reared mainly in the hilly regions of Himalayas and the plains of neighboring states like Haryana, Punjab. Rajasthan and Gujarat. Once the red sheep have developed a thick growth of hair, then hair is shaped off for getting wool. In the given table, the important breeds of Indian sheep and their regions of rearing are given. Name of breed Region of rearing Patanwadi, Gujarat, Nalli, Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana, Lohi, Punjab. Rajasthan, Bakharwal, Jammu and Kashmir, Marwadi, Gujarat, Rampur Busher, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Nellur, Andhra Pradesh. Extraction of Wool Extraction of Wool A series of processes are involved to produce the wool 
shearing. In this process, the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body. Usually, shearing is done during summer so that it grows back in winter to provide protection to the sheep. It is done manually with a large razor or with an automatic shearing machine. Scoring or Washing The sheared hair contains impurities such as sand, dirt, grease and dust. In order to remove these impurities, the sheared skin with hair is washed by simply dipping it in warm water or it may involve complicated industrial process using alkali and a detergent. Grading and Sorting In this process, any stained, damaged or inferior wool is removed. The rest of the wool is sorted according to the quality of the fibers depending on their fineness, length, waviness and color. Carding After drying the wool, it is passed through rollers that have thin wire teeth. These wire teeth untangle the fibers and arrange them into a flat sheet called a web. The fibers are scored again and dried. This is the wool which is ready to be drawn into fibers. Spinning The web is then formed into narrow untwisted fibers known as slivers. By using steel rollers which divide the wool and roll the strands on top of one another. Coarser fibers are then twisted into rope-like structures by a process called roving. Finer fibers are then combed and prepared for spinning into yarns. Dyeing The natural fleece of sheep and goat is white, brown or black. The slivers are dyed to get wool fibers of various colors. Final processing The fibers are straightened by putting them through rollers which are then stretched and twisted into yarns. These yarns are wounded to form balls of wool used for knitting or weaving woolen cloth. Factopedia. Do you know where was the first wool factory established? The first wool factory was established in England in 50 AD in Winchester by the Romans. In 1797, the British brought 13 merino sheep to Australia and started the country's first merino sheep in silk. Silk is a natural protein fiber produced by silkworms. Silk is also known as the queen of textiles. The best known type of silk is obtained from cocoons made by the larvae of mulberry silkworm, Bombyx mori, reared in captivity. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. India produces plenty of silk on a commercial scale. Factopedia Silk was produced first in China more than 5,000 years ago. The production of silk in Europe began in 590 AD and around 300 AD in India. Discovery of Silk Silk is one of the oldest fibers known to man. Its discovery as a weavable fiber is credited to the Lady Si Ling Chi, the 14 years old bride of the Emperor Yuangdi the so-called Yellow Emperor. One day in 2640 BC, she was sitting under a mulberry tree, drinking a cup of tea, into which a silk cocoon fell from above. She noticed that the delicate fibers started to unravel in the hot liquid, and a tangle of delicate threads got separated from the cocoon. Life Cycle of a Silk Moth the life cycle of a silk moth has these stages. Egg Clusters The female silk moth lays 300 to 400 eggs in clusters on mulberry leaves. From these eggs, larvae hatch which are called as caterpillars or silkworms. Silkworm The larva or silkworm or caterpillar starts feeding day and night on mulberry leaves. When they are about 35 days old, they are 10,000 times heavier than when they were hatched. During their lifetime, silkworms shed outer skin that is mold four times. 
silkworms grow rapidly, eventually reaching the size of ring finger, pupa or cocoon. Silkworm now spins a cocoon around itself in 3 to 7 days. The silkworm has a pair of glands which produces a liquid protein, fibroin, that solidifies when exposed to air. The outer part of the case thus becomes like a tough, coarse tissue paper, while the inner part of the case is a fine thread about 1000 feet long, which is wounded around the body of the worm. This thread or filament is used in the silk industry. Once the cocoon is completed, the silkworm goes into a resting phase for two or three weeks. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar changes into the pupa. Silk moth After two or three weeks, the pupa changes to silk moth. The silk moth secretes a fluid to dissolve the silk and thus escape from the cocoon with ease. In four to six days, the female moth lays around 400 eggs and another life cycle starts. Factopedia Silkworm spins approximately one mile of filament and completely encloses itself in a cocoon in about two to three days. Extraction of silk The cocoons raised by the rarers are delivered to the factory where the silk is unwounded from the cocoons. Hence, the factory where the cocoons are processed into silk is called filature. The filature operations consist of these stages. Sorting cocoons The cocoons are sorted according to color, size, shape and texture as these affect the final quality of the silk. Softening the sericin Silk filament is a double strand of a protein, fibroin. The two strands are held together by a sticky substance called sericin or silk gum. After sorting the cocoons, they are immersed in hot and cold immersions so as to obtain a single continuous thread of silk. Reeling the filament Unwinding and combining of the silk filament from the cocoon is called reeling as the filament of the cocoon is too fine for commercial use. Bailing The skins are packed in small bundles called books weighing 2 to 4.5 kg. These books are put into bales, which are packed into bundles, weighing about 60 kg. In this way, raw silk is shipped to silk mills all over the world. Factopedia About 5,500 silkworms are required to produce 1 kg of silk. It takes more than 25 mulberry trees to obtain 6 pounds of silk. The shimmering effect produced by silk is because of triangular prism-like structure of silk and effect of light on it. Health problems of workers engaged in wool and silk industries. A disease called anthrax infection of cattle like sheep and goat may affect workers involved with shearing and sorting wool. This disease is caused due to bacterium anthracis. It affects skin, lungs and intestines. Common health problems in workers engaged with silk rearing are respiratory problems like asthma and bronchial infections.